last week, former Phillies pitcher David West passed away at the age of 57, joining five other players to die of brain cancer since 2003 who played for that team in that same stadium. The strange spring of deaths leading baseball fans to revisit theories that Veterans Stadium could be to blame. All of them played in Vet Stadium before it was demolished back in 2004. There it is. Former Phillies pitcher Larry Anderson and Fox News medical contributor Dr. Mark Siegel join us now. Larry, I know it's tremendously tragic. I mean, we knew these play, uh, we knew these players as players. You knew them as friends. How do you feel about this? Um, it's devastating. Uh, starting in '03. Um, with uh, uh, Ken Brett and then followed by Tug McGraw the following year. And then it's just, uh, it, it's, it's devastating. That's really, it's the only word for it. I mean, you had, there, there were pitchers and catchers, Dr. Siegel, uh, and they were all great players. They all played there. But do you look at this as something that should be examined or a coincidence? First of all, it's a cluster and it needs to be examined. The amount of incidents of deadly brain cancer, about three out of 100,000. This is three to four times that if, or more. Uh, by the way, Larry Anderson, it's an honor to be on with him. He was a great pitcher. You know, Brian, in his late 30s, he was all, that was, those were his best years. And Tug McGraw, you got to believe, from the Miracle Mets. Now, let me look at the medicine, medicine of this for a second. Uh, uh, right. Tug McGraw, uh, unbelievable pitcher, inspired New Yorkers here uh, and Philly. But one, one thing about the medicine of this, they've sa they're saying Veterans Stadium because of the AstroTurf or because it was built on the marsh. But I want to add, because of David West, that five out of these six players are pitchers or catchers. And the military, Brian, has done research on microwaves that are given at a very high frequency and a lot of exposure. And the radar gun, you get hundreds of, of, of incidences of the radar gun being used during a game. I am not saying that that's what it is, but in addition to the AstroTurf, because the old AstroTurf right. had a lot of chemicals, they've got to look more at that radar gun yeah, as Ken a possibility. Brett, uh, Tug McGraw, Johnny Oates, John Vukovic. Uh, and Darren Dalton, all with brain cancer. Larry, when you guys talk to each other, I remember at the Meadowlands that something similar happened, uh, and they said, well, you know, this was built on swampland, and they stopped using any type of water fountain, and they started bringing their water and other stuff in. What do you guys talk about as you get hit with this? Uh, right now, Brian, because there, there's no way to, to figure anything out because the Veteran Stadium is now a parking lot, it, it's hard to, to figure anything else out that you know you, you think I think about the ground crew that was there all the time They're on the field more than anybody on the dirt and the grass on the turf um, And they had no incidences of it, and that's why it's so it's so confusing to everybody And it just you just kind of sit back, you know guys that have coached there played at the vet when it first opened Larry Boa for example like he, he played with a lot of these guys and or, or coached with them and and for him I, I got to believe it's like is he next? Is right. he going to be next? Or is somebody going to be next? You don't know. And, it, and it's, it's just so hard that they, there's no way to put anything together. Larry, you, you had two stints there. Are you getting yourself checked out? Um, there, uh, people have questioned that a, a lot with me um, for other reasons. But no, I, I, there's nothing. I mean, I don't know what to do. I, I guess, I mean, without any feelings of headaches or anything like that, there, yeah. you, you just kind of just wait and that, that there's nothing really more you can do and just you know pray that uh, that that is the end of it absolutely uh brian could go real quick final thought dr siegel brian the the the, the incidence of uh, is low enough so that he, he probably doesn't have to worry his regular doctor can check him uh one other thing to add to larry's point the philadelphia eagles have not had a problem with this so that that goes against right. it as well that it may not be veteran stadium but though it's a possibility it has to be investigated it'd be interesting to see what baseball and football did differently uh if there was larry boa said i uh, was there for 30 years he says i know there are a lot of pipes that were exposed when we played there and we had right. that astroturf not the field turf that we have right now.